Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McYart. Welcome. And this is what I'll be painting on today, only this is the back side. This was given to me from my clients. It was a $6 find at the Goodwill, some sort of clay tray of sorts with a flat surface. Let's see what I come up with on this today. So before I get too far into this, I want to give a huge shout out to Donna from It's Art by Donna for leading us off tonight. And another big shout out to Shelly from Shelly Anderson Art who will be finishing us up tonight. Hi, everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare, and welcome to my channel. And I uh, hope everyone's doing good out there. And we are about to embark on something a little bit large again. This is about 15 inches in, circum in the diameter. And this is a commission piece. And it's intended for use in a garden. And it's going to be something that's going to be posted in a garden, in a shady garden. Uh, as a decorative feature to the garden. So I was asked to make something that was a landscape swipe with mountains in mind, like Asheville, North Carolina. So that's what I've got here. My palette, I will have everything listed in the description below because some of these colors are just mixtures of a lot of things. Uh, and I actually won't be able to explain all of them. But this one here is a simple one. This is my golden iridescent gold and... Amsterdam's pearl white. So that's that. Um, this is a blue mixture, a light blue. So this is the sky that'll be mixed in with this for clouds and, you know, wisp variations in the sky. This is my Payne's Gray combination, which is Golden and Arteza's Payne's Gray. I may have to add a little more of that. This is green for the foreground, a lighter green for the close-up foreground, and brown to get mixed in between all of these. Uh, so this could be shadowing from clouds or also uh, dark spaces between where the trees are. So I'm going to use my multi-pro. I'm going to do a swipe with this, very much like the beach swipe I've done. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we come up with. All right, I'll get you down when I get the pillow down. Here we go. If you can hear my heart beat. Whew. There's always a rush when I'm doing something I'm not familiar with. There's always a rush. Just give it a little spin. Stretch it some. I do have the bottom covered in plastic and tape. And just so you know, this is the top of a microwave clay dish. I'm just picking up the pace here for the rest of this pillow pour. I'm going to interject here. It's starting to get a little bit funny, the types of things I'm being asked to paint on. But I tell you what, it's always a good challenge. Seems pretty good. So my idea here is to lay sky mountain, foreground green and brown, near ground with green, light green. So let's start with the high sky, which will be right in there. My ears are ringing, my heart is pounding. I've got to get this to stretch up there. Yes, and the age-old dilemma is having enough paint on there to get to the edges and keep your composition versus having too much paint on there and having to spin all of it off, including the composition. I'm going to add pearl to the sky after I'm done. Okay, so that's the high sky. Here is mid-range sky. Put some 
So I'm going back over the first part with this blue just to make sure I have the pillow covered. And I'll be doing that all the way through. Oof. I really need to put on some music so I can kind of relax. I might do that. You know, why? Why am I nervous? Why? It makes no sense. I mean, okay, I understand it. We're doing something different. And there's all kinds of ways I could have approached this. But I actually went back and watched some of my videos on my beach swipes to see how to do this, if you can believe it. Now my pains for the mountains. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna definitely pick up the pace here. And uh, I just wanna get you the idea of how much paint I'm putting down and the order in which I'm laying them. And then I'll come back right before the swipe. So I'll probably chime in here and there as I go and uh, play music in the meantime. So it's right here I remembered I wanted to put the brown down first before the green, but now it's too late. So before I put the lighter green down, I'm going to fill in the gaps of the dark green with the brown, and then I'm going to continue to lay the brown below this, and then layer the light green on top of it. So before I get to swiping, I'm going to flash up here a picture of inspiration that shows what I was aiming for in the color palette. All right, cell activator. I've got my white, I've got Payne's gray, and I have black. Mix up the white, mix up the black, mix up the Payne's gray. Okay, so I think the Payne's gray and the black should be down first. And the white should be the last one down because that's going to be what's coming up on top mostly. Okay, so let's start with the, the black. I can always do extra swipes after the fact. Not that I want to. And they want to have mountains as well in here. So where that pains is, I'm going to have to see about sculpting some mountains if I have to. We shall see. So this is the panes. Now, white. way too much on here. Okay, so here we go. So my idea is to go that way, come back around this way, and then finish off going that way.
So the actual swipe in a swipe is almost like the blow in a bloom and that it is one of the most critical parts and you have to get it right. You can't hesitate. You have to have the palette knife on the right angle to still push the paint across and the cell activator across the top of the paint. It's very vital. Let's just keep it a little stretchy. I'm blowing out the top a little bit here in the sky on both ends because I feel like it's a little bit short-handed. I want to make sure it's going to get to the edges. Let's give it a gentle spin. So I'm going to be clipping out pieces and speeding up a lot here. So in all the spins going forward, I'm going to clip some of it out. So through here, these are very just long, slow spins. A little tilt to try to shift the weight of the paint. There are several spins here that I clipped down that probably lasted 20 to 30 seconds in very slow turning speeds. If you've been with me, you know that I really baby the stretch out and the spread out. Go through this process very carefully and slowly. I'm gonna take a pause here. So I'm gonna add some Payne's Gray right here and I'm gonna swipe through this space and hopefully it all comes out well. So I'm gonna pick up the pace here and also cut out portions that are not swipe related, but all I'm doing here is trying to sculpt in the mountain range. I'm going to stop the, the camera. I'm going to take a picture. Well, I got to clean up too. I'm going to take a picture and send it to the person that commissioned me and we'll see what he thinks. So I'm trying to capture the shimmer of the pearl in this, especially prevalent in the clouds. I don't know if you can see it, but it is really something else. And it's like this throughout. Really cool. So everyone, here's the final flyover. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. Thumbs up would be nice, and I would love to hear from you. Give me a comment. That would be great. And once again, thanks to Donna for leading us off tonight. And don't go anywhere, because we also have Angela Bliss art and then Shelly Anderson art at the very end. But right now and up next is Lori Houston art. Let's see what she has cooked up for us tonight. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.